I answer questions about cats. That's pretty much my life. I spend time with cats. I answer questions about cats. There's one, however, that uh, is fun to answer only because the asking is so funny. Jackson, what's this? Or is it? Yeah, that's more like it. Because when people see this, they think their cat is angry at them or that they're possessed somehow. Well, gladly today, we get to clear that up. And uh, to clear that up, let's get right into the spirit of things. Welcome to Cat Daddy Dictionary. With your host, Jackson Galaxy. And today, we discuss a term which is, at its worst, divisive, informational to animals, disturbing to humans, full of perceived judgment and disgust, as in, why, why do you bring this to me? And you as humans say, I bring you a home and warmth and I give you food and in return, I get this look and at least that's in my home with my little darling Petunia, my little Beatrice. When she gives me that look, well, it's trouble. Today, we discuss stink face. What is stink face? Today, we find out. Let's consult the dictionary, shall we? Ahem. Stink face is actually known as the Flamen response. Well, it comes from the German to bare teeth, but specifically from the upper German Saxon to be spiteful or to look spiteful. It is a behavior in which an animal curls back its upper lip, exposing its front teeth, inhales with the nostrils usually closed, and then often holds this position for several seconds. about that law. Usually conducted with the neck stretched and held head high in the air. To wit. Well, oh, that's it right there. That's right. Oh, well, now that you've seen me do it, let's watch cats do it, shall we? Because that's why we're here. Roll them. Wait, what? What do you mean there's nothing to roll? You have to roll them, I, I need my clips. Wait, what the, what do you mean? It's called stink face. I need faces that show stink. I can't do it, don't make me do this. I, okay. Wonderful. Stinky, stink, stink faces, yes? And very enlightening. Now at least I know that my little Beatrice doesn't hate me, which I really thought she did. Well, what is exactly the reasoning behind the Fleming response? For that answer, let's find somebody who knows more than I do, at least about cat things. Now, oh, I'm back with a lot of reasoning for why things are happening here. Why stink face? We've talked about what is stink face, the flaming response, and what is it? Okay, well, let's talk about that. Really, gathering in information through the Jacobson's organ serves a pheromonal purpose, first and foremost. So most of the time, they're getting the information they need about usually other uh, sense coming from like species. So cats are getting information about other cats. A lot of times we will see the stink face done from the male of a species who smells a marking on the ground from urine or anything else where a cat has sat and left scent uh, about their reproductive status. But there's been uh, evidence that shows that stink face can be done when picking up information from non 
uh, intra-species urine. Uh, here's the thing. In my house, and maybe in your house where you've got multiple animals, anytime my cat comes up from the bed or from the floor doing the stink face, that is there to tell me that something is on that bed or on the floor that shouldn't be there. Every time one of our cats comes up with stink face, we go, oh no, that's basically it. It's like a big sign that your cat is holding up over their head saying, right here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of how it works anyway. It's not limited to cats, by the way. The flaming response has been exhibited from animals as varied as zebras and horses, elk, tapir, uh, uh, elephants, lots of different animals. They use it for the same reason, to pick up information via pheromones. So there you have it. That's the flamin response, or stink face. And just so you remember, it's not because your cat hates you, because you smell bad, or because they are spiteful about something. Even though that face, I buy it, that face definitely says something, right? But nothing bad except for the fact that there's probably pee in the spot. Anyway, that's it for now. Couple of reminders, we're doing this all the time. I wanna see which words you wanna see in the Cat Daddy Dictionary, so leave it in the comments below. Also, don't forget, guys, if you don't subscribe to this channel, you'll never know what word's coming next, and if you don't ring that bell, you might be subscribed, but you're still never gonna get the information. Gotta love the way YouTube works. Anyway, uh, let's see you show up next time, because this is just starting to get fun. All right, guys, all light, all love, all mojo to you. Mwah! With your stink face. At least that's what I say with my darling little crackers. Uh, but, uh, crackers? What's, what's my cat's name? I, I, a cat can't be called crackers. When she makes that face, I want to kill her. No. <laughs> uh, oh, Jackson's not wearing his glasses. That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's it. <gasps> oh, I love my job. Meow.